Okay, oh, it's hot in here. It's very hot in here, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so a little backstory. So I've been doing IGT videos for a while now, which are like videos on Instagram. And I was just so obsessed with making videos for you guys. It was just so much fun. Now I'm on YouTube, I have my own channel, and I'm gonna be posting videos on here a lot. And I am so excited. So let's get into the first video. So I thought, what better way for you guys to get to know me as a YouTuber now um, than to do a Q&A? I'm just going to answer some of your guys' questions. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first question is, how old are you? So I'm 17. I just turned 17 on Tuesday, actually. The second question is, what do you love about being homeschooled? So for those who don't know, I am homeschooled. I've been homeschooled for a year now. This is my second year that's coming up. But something that I love about being homeschooled is that I can choose when I want to get my work done. Um, some people choose to do it in the afternoon they, if they want to sleep in. Personally, for me, that doesn't work. I like waking up early and just getting right into it, getting started and just finishing my work in the morning so that I have the afternoon off and I can see my friends or I can do some work or I can go out, stuff like that. Um, so that's personally what I like to do, but it's different for everybody. Another thing is that I love being in my own home, so being here and working is just really, really awesome. Do you want a big family someday? This is actually a really interesting question. I don't think I've ever been asked this on a Q&A before, but yes. Well, I think I want three kids. I want two girls and one boy. Um, so I don't know if that's, is that big? I don't know. <laughs> Some people might think that's big, but... I think when you think big family, you like think like five kids or six kids. So I don't want a small family, but I don't want like a huge family, if that makes sense. How do you deal with fake friends? This is a very, very good question. So I'm 17, so I have met a ton of different people. And yes, I have had fake friends in my life, and I do know how to deal with them. I think, I think personally, what I've experienced is that if you have friends in your life and they're not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated, I don't think that it's worth giving them your time. Um, I think that's what I would say is that I've had some people, um, I've had some friends in my life that it was completely single-sided and what I mean by this is I would go out of my way every single day to text this person, call this person, ask to hang out with this person and they never put any effort in our friendship and that friendship didn't work because they didn't put any effort and for a friendship just like any relationship in your life you need to have two sides one person is not going to hold the entire friendship or relationship or whatever i feel like that's how i deal with fake people is that if i know i'm not getting the time and the love that i deserve i don't give them i don't give them my time because it's not worth it my camera died so I had to like shift the camera so if it's in a different spot that's why sorry guys how do you always look so happy so this is very sweet but I can 100% say that I'm not always happy um, of course I have an amazing life I am so so blessed to have such a great life with amazing family and friends and just I wake up every day so blessed and so thankful um, for everything that I've been given but of course I do have days that are just feel like the longest days ever and I'm just so confused about some things and I'm so lost I just feel like uh, there's nothing good in that day but of course there is definitely something good at that in that day but it's hard to see that when all you feel is just sad or upset about something it's hard to see the good side this is definitely something that I do when I'm having a bad day I always think of what's good about this situation or what's good in this day because there's always something good I would say that whenever you're not feeling your best self, just think of what what's amazing about this day, what am I blessed about today, what am I grateful for, and journal. Journal is definitely something that I love whenever I'm having a bad day, is I get my journal out and I just write out a ton of things that are on my mind or something that I'm grateful for and I always feel better. Favorite thing about school? Favorite thing about school? Okay. <laughs> 
this isn't really about like the classes, but I would definitely say snack is like my favorite time of the day. Um, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, I'll be doing my work and then um, when we do homeschooling, my mom uh, brings up snacks for my brother and I and it's like, it's like heaven. It's just like, wow, this is just the best part of the day. Um, it really is. Snack is amazing. Food in general is just great. So I would say that's my favorite thing about school. <laughs> What, a, what was your first job? So I think my first job was a counselor at a camp that I used to work at. And I was like the art counselor. Whoa, I don't know what just happened. Oh my gosh, my, <laughs> sorry, the vehicle just turned off. It said it was gonna shut off. Hello? That was my dad wondering if I was gonna turn the car off so that I don't use all the, the power. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> um, I was like the art counselor, so I was in charge of all the art supplies and all art activities and the kids um, for that week or two that I was working. What does your day normally look like? Well, in the summer, um, I normally sleep in um, not super, super late. I'm not a sleep in person, but I'll just relax in my room for a little bit and then I will get myself some breakfast and just hang out, relax in the morning. Um, then I have my lunch and then normally in the afternoon I will either hang out with my friends or go on little like road trips or go to, um, stores like shopping, um, do some exercise like bike or walk or use my pool and swim. Uh, basketball, I would say stuff like that. That's definitely my summer day. What's your favorite thing to do when you're bored? Um, I would say when I'm bored, I think the first thing that I do is I'll go downstairs and just sit on the couch and watch a movie and then I'll make something in the kitchen like um, I might make something different that I've never made before or I'll go on Pinterest and find a cool uh, recipe and I'll try it um, and then I might go outside and tan or swim um, I'll clean my room I, I would say stuff like that is what I'll do when I'm bored my dream car okay so I don't know if you guys if you guys have seen my IGT videos um, in my last Q&A on there I said that my dream car was a white Jeep and that has definitely changed in the past half a year um, now my dream car is a white Tesla um, <laughs> I just think they're so appealing to look at I just love how shiny it is I, I, I love it what is your favorite subject so my favorite subject is math um, funny thing is when I was younger, I'm going to say in elementary school, I hated math. Like, I dreaded math. Every single day when I had to do math, I was like, oh, seriously, come on. But like, since grade nine, math has always been my favorite subject. I just, I just love it so much. What makes you very happy? Um, I have a lot of things that make me happy, but the first thing that I can think of is I love sunsets and I love like beaches and I love like exploring new places and new things like um, I love road trips where we go and just explore different things that we've never been to or seen before. I just think that's so cool and it makes me really really happy. Okay, so that is it for the questions today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have very exciting videos coming to you guys soon, so please stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get a notification whenever I post. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't do anything. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. All I see is me.